I know, it's always amazing. Tim and I were trying to figure out the last time he was here, and I, we're thinking maybe around Father's Day. Mother's so. Day, Father's Day. Uh, Tim Bott joining us once again from Poster Jack. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. Great to be here. And uh, my first question <laughs> to you, what is the deadline? Uh, the deadline yes. is the 14th yes. for most of the products. Some of the specialized ones, it's, it's a couple days earlier, like December 11th or December 12th. But there's still lots of time to put it in order. Okay, you're uh, good. If you like what you see today. Yeah, well, I think people love what they're able to see and the, and the advancements of what you've been able to do with people's photos. So really, they're heading to your website, they're downloading the photo, and then literally choosing the options of how they want it printed. Yeah, exactly. We've got lots of different types of products, starting from simple posters to peel and stick posters, going up to some more kind of wild and funky stuff like printing on metal and printing on acrylic. It's amazing, hey, how yeah. the, the, the first the first part of the business is really the stickies yeah. and posters, and it has just expanded. It's evolved. Want to start on this side because mm -hmm. I think some of the things we're looking at is just beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, here we've got a, a pretty simple product as well. It's a frameless mounting. So we just take the poster and we mount it onto a piece of hardwood. It's really durable. It works really great in all sorts of different um, decor settings. And uh, it's pretty inexpensive as well. Well, they're gorgeous shots. This one, the, it, I don't know what these are and how, why, it's, why is it popping so much? Uh, it's popping for two reasons. One is that it's a print on acrylic. So we don't print on paper at all. What we do is we print on the back side of the acrylic. And so it looks like you're kind of almost looking through a window at the picture itself. Uh, and the second reason is that it's a specific type of photo called HDR. So what you do is you take uh, a lot of the new cameras can take these shots. I was going to say, shots. I have it on my phone. The yeah, HDR, you've got it on right. your phone as well, probably. The iPhones all have them. So it just takes a number of different photos together, different exposures, and then puts them together. So everything kind of looks a little more surreal and uh, almost more different types of light than your eye could even see. Yeah, I'm going to bend down and pick this one up. Sure. This. Okay, so this is a metal print. Uh, and this is something that we're getting really well known for in Canada because we were the first ones to do it. So we're printing directly onto sheets of metal and they start at small sizes like this and they go up to the giant three feet by four feet um, wall installations that we're doing. Companies must be using them for logos and for decor. Like when you think of it, if you can do it on a large scale, something like this. Yeah, there's all sorts of different uses for it. So definitely companies are decorating their boardrooms. Um, doing their logos, all sorts of interesting ideas. Okay, now I'm not not saying that they're boring, but you have the typical photos that you can just do and have the family photos ready to go yeah. and frames and everything and like that too. To tell you the truth, those are the ones that we see coming through the most part at this time mm -hmm. of year because people are thinking about gifts. And you go through the whole year, you take a whole bunch of photos and it's a great opportunity now to turn them into something that's a special, unique gift. Uh, and it's an artwork. Uh, piece that someone will put up on their wall and they'll be able to enjoy it for the whole year. And goodness, get it off of the computer. I think we all have thousands and thousands of images now that are in those files I and know. hardly everything now is not making it into frames and onto the wall. So a great way to be able to do that and you can do black and white so you can pick the frames, everything is, is available. Yeah, it's all pretty simple. You can choose black and white, sepia, we've got four different frame colors and brown is really popular right now for the photo framing. It's almost like the new mm -hmm. black. So we're seeing that really pick up quite a bit. Um, and in terms of the canvases, that's still kind of our big seller. There's a lot of canvases being produced, and you can put a floater frame on those if you want to dress them up a little bit. So, you, so this would be a floater frame. That's a floater frame. However, yeah. you can just actually purchase and just have it like that, which so would you be could the have canvas it, yeah, on the inside. Just the canvas by itself. Okay, yeah. I want to show one a couple more of these. This one's cool. That's also an acrylic. But it's different. Ooh, how everything is just kind of rimmed or the trim of this. Yeah, I think the last time we were here, we had sort of a clear border around the mm -hmm. acrylic, and that was the first step. But now we're going borderless, and it really makes a different impact because you kind of see the light and the colors reflecting through the edges. Right. Um, these get cut on a laser machine. I'm so, show this. See, it's literally going all the way around. It's pretty cool because yeah. the edges are perfectly clear. So when you have it up on the wall and you've got the right light on it, you can almost see like the light reflecting through the entire picture. Okay, can take us through the process one more time. I think we're going to scan over that. You were talking about doing that uh, on the larger scale. That would be an example. Yeah, right? so that's, a, that's a 24 by 36 inch metal print. And we're also getting a lot of photos from London, we're finding, because I think a lot of people were right. over at the Olympics right. and right. taking vacations there this year. So there's a lot of really cool ones coming in. So that's why I wanted to bring You must see that, that. almost piece. like a trend of where people have been or the type of photos people are, are yeah, taking. Yeah, there definitely are big trends. That, that switch depending on what's happening throughout the year. So That's awesome. Um, that, that's a gorgeous one right there. Yeah, and it's pretty simple. All you do is just go to the website, you choose the size you want, choose the product, and then find that photo on your computer. 
Okay, so as we mentioned, the 14th right now, we, yeah. well, the 10th, the 12th, the 14th. 14th. The 14th is literally what you're saying is like last, last the Very, call. very last day. And we've got right at the top of the website, uh, there's a little button you can click on there for holiday shipping info, and we detail all of that okay. to make it clear when the last day is to order stuff. Posterjack.ca is the website you want to go to. The only information you need heading into that website is to be able to have that photo, the one that you want ready. Exactly, to go. and that's the hard part, picking the right photo. It really is. <laughs> it is. Well, I have a feeling now with all of the selection, it's getting a little bit harder to decide exactly how you want to see that. That's uh, that picture show up on the walls, but always a pleasure. Po poster jack.ca. A quick reminder uh, if you're looking for a great photo, if you have something and a wonderful, wonderful gift idea as well.